Have you ever wondered how gravity works? So have I. Let's test it out. Hi everybody, welcome to Your Side Saturday. My name is Mark Morrison, I work for New York State Parks, Long Island Region, and Environmental Education Office. Today starts with a question. Can things fall at the same time? The Earth has a constant gravitational force of 9.8 meters per second squared. In simple terms, it basically just means that the Earth pulls on everything with a constant force no matter what. If you jump off a chair, you aren't falling towards the ground so much as the ground is really pulling you towards it. As I'm sure you know, the Earth has a lot more mass than you or I. With gravity, anywhere, big things pull on smaller things. And because everything on the Earth is dramatically smaller than the Earth, everything that we know gets pulled with the same basic force. So let's test it out. Now there is one thing on Earth that can affect the rate of gravity. Air, specifically air resistance. So let's test this with two balloons. If you have two balloons, both uninflated, at the same weight, if you drop them at the same time, they'll both fall at the same rate. But what happens if you blow one up? But what if we tested something whose shape is less affected by air resistance? Let's try a ping pong ball and a quarter. Even though it's smaller, the quarter is just a little bit heavier than our ping pong ball. Let's see what happens when we drop them. When our ping pong ball and our quarter fall from the same height at the same time, they fall at the same rate. But what would happen if we dropped something a little heavier, like a rock? Here's an easy gravity drop experiment that you can try at home. Take your plastic cup, take your pin or a pen or anything that's sharp, and poke a hole near the bottom. Take your cup, find the new hole, put your finger over it, and fill your cup up with water. If you take your finger off, you'll see that the water will, of course, come out of that hole. If you put your finger back over it, the water should stop.
You might be wondering, why did the water not come out of the hole when you dropped the cup? If you are holding the cup with the water still inside of it, that cup's not gonna go anywhere. When you take your finger off the side, water can come out because it has somewhere to escape from. Gravity still has an effect on the water inside. If the cup and the water are pulled to the earth at the same time, they fall at the same rate because earth is pulling on them with the same force. Try to set home in the backyard with a bunch of different objects that you might find. You might be surprised at the results. This has been Your Science Saturday with me, Mark, in the park, and I'll see you guys next time.